Hey everyone, I'm back again to show off Grease and I's newest invention, and this time it's an archery range. Uh, this archery range has three different game modes, and uh, I'll explain them to you now. We've got arcade mode, which is no rules, just shoot the targets, try for the highest score. There's six targets here, there's one, two, three, four, five, and then a moving one here we call a squirrel. It kind of winds its way kind of around the course and you have to try to shoot that one. And so each one's worth a point and you hit it and the scoreboard will keep track of how many times you hit it. Pretty straightforward, simple, just fun free play mode basically. Time trial, hit all the targets before the timer runs out. This is a timer up there, if you activate time trial mode the timer will start counting down. You have to hit each target once before the timer runs out to win. So pretty straightforward. Uh, pretty easy once you get the hang of it, but it's it can be hard, especially this moving one, because you can't really see where it's going to go next. So anyway, and then shoot the light mode. Shoot the lit up targets to earn points. And you see each target has a light underneath of it, and you uh, they'll light up randomly, and you only get a point if you hit the target when it's lit up. If you hit it, one that's not lit up, you won't get a point. And these three lights up here represent the game mode, so there's arcade, uh, time trial, and shoot the light. And then this one represents the squirrel target, and if that one's lit up in shoot the light mode, it means you need to shoot that one. So let's we'll jump right into it here. I'll show you arcade mode. So flip the arcade mode on, hit start game. It'll give me a bow and arrows, and then I'm free to just shoot whatever I want. I have to bear with me. It lights up briefly, so you know you hit the target, and then it reloads itself. Um, now I'm not a great archer, so yeah, you have to bear with me here. The reason we're using minecarts in our targets instead of wood buttons to detect an arrow hitting it is because uh, you have to wait five minutes for an arrow to despawn when it hits a wooden button, which would take a really long time and would make it impossible to hit the target again for five minutes. So we came up with a cart reload system to uh, make it go by faster. This, and I built an archery range mostly for myself so I can learn how to aim better when I shoot because I'm not good at it. Okay. I think you get the point. So yeah. You come over here, you can flip the game off, and then hit end game. Start end to the same button. And it will uh, reset the scoreboard up there and then you're ready to go into your next one. I will flip time trial on briefly to show you, but I'm probably not going to play the whole thing because I'm not that good at it. I said how that each game has its own startup sound. You see the timer's counting down now. And now when I hit each target, it'll light up and it's going to stay lit up so you know which targets you've hit already and which ones need to be hit again. So anyway, I'm not going to play through this whole thing. If you win, if you get them all before the timer runs out, it plays a you won the game music and if you don't and the timer runs out it plays a you lost music so and all the note blocks underneath here uh, shoot the lights pretty cool we'll turn this on here and basically what it does it uh, goes into a randomizer and the randomizer picks one of the six targets to light up and it tells you you need to shoot that one let's see if I can see sometimes it takes a second for the first one to be chosen <laughs> oh. So that light lit up there which means the squirrel is the one that needs to be hit. And of course it is. Oh, and we already lost that one. We're on to the next one. So we gotta go back and hit this one. Let's see if I can get at least one point in this game before I move on. Okay, sweet. So I got that point. And ta-da! And so, oh, and now it's switched over to the squirrel again. So, yeah. That's the game. Pretty fun. I'm gonna switch into uh, creative mode here so I can show you the wiring. So yeah, from here it's pretty simple target archery range. As soon as you fly up you see it's all perspective based and that all the wiring is pretty much exposed from the back side here. But if you fly around, it's not that much redstone involved in this game system. Just a little bit wrapping all around to get to the targets. Come down here, I'll give you kind of a brief idea of what this is. Um, I'll talk about what the moving noise is first. I'm going to turn this off briefly so it's not annoying us. This is the randomizer. And how the randomizer works is it has a dispenser with different colors of wool in it. And dispensers, they don't randomly shoot out wool, but 
the pattern they shoot it out is really long and vague and weird and people can't easily detect what it is. So it's pretty good for a randomizer. Anyway, it shoots out the wool and the wool flows over these hoppers, each with a different color in them. And whichever color got shot out uh, comes down here to RS snore latches and it turns those on and then that tells the game uh, which target is selected and which one you need to hit. And this wiring is done with uh, Seth Bling's instant wire, which means that as soon as the power gets turned on here, the power will turn on way on the other side of the game board too. So that makes it uh, just makes it faster, basically. Um, let's see what else is there here. These are the note blocks for the different game sounds, and then down here is the command blocks that uh, clear your inventory, uh, set you to peaceful mode, and give you your bow and arrow. So that's pretty straightforward. I'll go over here and show you how one of these targets work. This is the back side of a target. And basically, there's a minecart right here. And when you hit the minecart, it breaks, goes through the hopper into the uh, chest minecart. And the, ho the hopper sends a signal to the comparator, which then powers the track the chest minecart's on. And it comes back up here, and it drops off uh, the minecart back into the dispenser, and it gets placed back here. So it's uh, just a little loop. It's a 4x4x5 four by four by target that I've used uh, initially set up as just individual targets for our server, but then applied to this concept thing over here. This is the timer over here. Pretty straightforward. It just has two hoppers that trade items back and forth to count down and count up. And then the win-lose logic is right here also. This is the win, and then that's lose right there. And that sends the signals back this way to the music. Here is just a stack of two decoders for the uh, scoreboard. And then this is our counter. So every time you hit a target in arcade or uh, hit the light mode, the, the target sends a pulse to our counter right here. And basically that shifts the pulse down the line. And I can, I think there's a button here I can demonstrate it with. So let's say you hit a target. Well now this one's lit up, which is the number one. So now the number one is being displayed. Hit another target. It shifts over to two. Hit another target. Shifts over to three. And then it has a carry at the end, which carries it down here to the tens place. So pretty straightforward. It's not not really that complicated, but I haven't seen anyone do anything like this yet. And it's, it's a pretty fun game. Uh, this world will be available for download in the description of the video. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed.